みなさん、こんにちは。カモンと申します。25歳です。オーストラリア人です。お元気ですかチームリスピーメようこそ。名責務のマスターになりたいですか新しい世界に行きましょう。頑張ってください。はい、おごそめにあいやってるカメラマン、やいやしわふんま、オルガム、おやいカメラ、オーストラリア。おりんごで、ビルコメンティル、ティムスジュン、ビルデレビー、エンビビスドラミングネスデ、ラオスコポエトエヴンチュール。イクチュール。Hi everyone, English this time, I promise. Alright, so, hi, I'm Cameron, I'm 25 years old, I'm from Australia.、Um, welcome to Team Lucid Dream.、Um, would you like to become、uh, a Lucid Dreaming Master? Well, come and join us, come and join Team Lucid Dream. Let's go on an adventure. Good luck, everyone. So, Today, I thought I would start by talking about what supplements you can take if you'd like to boost your chances of having a lucid dream. Now, these are obviously completely optional.、Um, it's just like supplements for if you want to work out and gain muscle. All right, they're optional,、um, however, they do help. And,、um, But you shouldn't be reliant on them. Supplements don't build the foundation, they only help you lay the foundation. Okay, so I guess this, this, these aren't in any particular order, but I will tell you how effective they have been for me personally. Okay, the first one. This is mugwort. So, it says at the back here, it's famed as smoking herb and enjoyed for its dreamy effect. Place a little under your pillow to induce a series of fast dreams. Also used as a tea. Now, what I have heard is if you get some、um, napkins or tissues or something, place some mugwort in there and then tie it up, then you have. A dreaming pillow, pretty much, and you can place that under your pillowcase. And what happens is, like, the fumes、uh, from the mugwort, you, you're breathing it all night. It's not, is that actually not a strong smell? It、um, smells like nothing, actually. But、um, apparently, the,、um, the fumes that you inhale, they're safe and there are no side effects,、um, but they are said to. Increase your、um, lucidity and、um, your vividness in your dreams. So,、uh, you guys can try that if you'd like. Now, I have actually made one of these、uh, Mugwort Dream Pillows,、um, however, I have not given it much of an actual trial.、Um, I've been, I've had it under my pillowcase for a couple of nights, but then I took it out because then I was, I was like, okay, what if mum finds this under my pillowcase? And it might be a bit awkward, you know.、Um, I have actually had this as a tea as well.、Um, however, I have not given it a fair shot. So, let us know how Mugwort goes for you guys if you would like to try it. Now, The first dream enhancer herb that I've ever tried、um, is known as、uh, Kalea Zaketa Chichi, or Kalea for short. Kalea, when I first bought Kalea, it was in a 20 to 1 extract. So it was very strong, but it was also very expensive and it was 
in like a kind of resin. It was a black sticky resin that I didn't know what to do with it. I ended up um, putting some in the tiller and um, that kind of masked the really bitter taste of it. Um, and as for the effects of that resin, um, it was hard to tell. I did definitely have improved dream recall. However, I'm not. I wasn't told what dosage to have of this resin, and I don't know. It was all a bit. I was, it was like I was thrown in the dark, and I didn't know what to do. So I mean, it could have an effect that resin. But what I have done is I've picked up the plain herb, clear herb, um, and this can be used as a tea, and um, or you can uh, it says you can smoke it, and what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to smoke it until you can hear your heartbeats. Apparently, I haven't tried this, but apparently if you smoke it. Um, you start to get more in tune with your heart and this somehow increases your lucidity and um, and enhances your dreams. Um, I have not given Kalea a fair shot mainly because it has a very bitter taste um, and the tea is just really not nice at all. What I have picked up is Kalea Extract Liquid uh, 10 milliliters of it. it says to use two to five mils at a time I've used this once um, it, the taste wasn't terrible um, it wasn't nice but it wasn't terrible um, but when I had it I was very tired and I just fell asleep and I went into a deep sleep and so it's not a fair assessment of the effectiveness of this so I'm going to try this again So that's Kalea Zakeda Chichi. Interestingly enough, I'm not sure if it's still true, but I heard Kalea is for some reason illegal in, I believe it was Poland. I don't know why. Now, another herb is this. Well, these pills aren't specifically for lucid dreaming but they do contain herbs that do enhance uh, dreaming in general. Um, it's got ginkgo biloba, uh, which is good for memory and concentration. That's definitely good for dream recall, because what it does is it improves the, um, the blood flow in your brain, and so your brain is getting more oxygen, and therefore it's in a better state to remember, um, remember your dreams. Now, the other ingredients worth mentioning in these um, pills is um, Brahmi, otherwise known as Bacopa monieri. Now, Brahmi is excellent for uh, memory. So, if you ever want to uh, remember your dreams, I would, or even improve your memory in daily life, I've used these for study. These, these um, pills are called. Brain IQ, memory learning concentration. So I'm a university student. These have helped me um, to study for exams and such. Now, Lucid Dreamer pills. There are many brands of these online, but the two main ingredients of these particular ones is red spider lily extract, otherwise known as Lycoris radiata. Now this extract contains galantamine. Okay, galantamine. Uh, it's an inhibitor, right? So it in it hip inhibits the breakdown of uh, the neurotransmitter acetylcholine in the brain and 
this uh, this action, the excess of acetylcholine in the brain, results in increased um, learning, increased memory, and increased awareness. And the other ingredient in this in these pills is choline, which with choline from choline by tartrate, and this converts into that neurotransmitter acetylcholine. So this um, this boosts acetylcholine in the brain by two mechanisms. It gives you choline, which gets converted into acetylcholine, and it contains galantamine, which inhibits the breakdown of acetylcholine. So these, without a doubt, have an effect. Without a doubt. Galantamine is actually prescription only in some countries. Um, it's prescribed for Alzheimer's disease patients because it enhances their memory. Um, now, because it is prescription only, that indicates that there are side effects. Um, they're not very major side effects, um, and some people don't get any side effects at all. I haven't had really any side effects from taking this. Having said that, I don't have this all the time. Okay, I wouldn't build up a tolerance to this. I would try it once in a while. Okay. Now, the important thing with these, with galantamine and choline, when you do it, don't take it right before sleep. What you should do is go to bed, set your alarm for four hours later. Okay. So you have four hours of sleep. And when your alarm goes up, then you take one or two of these. Now, what, what the dosage of this is, is four milligrams of galantamine per pill and 200 milligrams of choline per pill. So what I, I've been doing is taking two of these after the four hour mark. So I'll be taking eight milligrams of galantamine and 400 milligrams of choline. Okay. So, what you do then is you take this, you don't even have to think about it again, go back to sleep as you normally would. Now, this is where it gets interesting because for me, generally, how I become lucid, triggered by these, is when I'm dreaming, all of a sudden, my dream body feels a bit weird, it feels, feels a bit funny, it feels like this energy in it. And then all of a sudden it's like, hmm, this feels really strange, what's going on here? And then, whoosh, your awareness comes into, into awakening. And you're like, wow. And you can get surprised at how incredibly aware and lucid you are. And generally, you don't fade off into becoming unaware again. You don't fade off into having a normal dream and just black out, like you can do with lucid dreaming. Generally, what I've experienced with these pills is once you're aware, you stay aware until you wake up. And when you do wake up, your memory is very clear. Of what happened. So you could spend what seems like hours in the lucid state in a dream and you'd wake up and you would remember it like it had happened you know in that day. Your memory will be very clear. So, I mean, if you have tried um, supplements and none of them have been working for you and you've been giving them a fair trial and you still want to pursue taking supplements because, as I said, these are optional, then I would recommend getting um, galantamine with choline in it or take galantamine and take another source of choline. Now, one last, oh, like here. I do actually have pure choline in here, which I picked up um, 
at the health food store actually but I had to order things online one last uh, supplement I will um, say I've had is melatonin now this is more for insomnia if you can't sleep but the effect on dreams is you tend to enter um, enter a deeper dreamscape in a way uh, this, this sends you into a, a state of sleep where you seem to um, be in a really deep meaningful dream and you do tend to remember it more than if you didn't have this um, but as I said this is mainly for if you've got insomnia or if you've had a lot of caffeine that day and you need to, you need to get some sleep um, I will also mention that it's important to stay healthy get plenty of vitamins and minerals um, I've heard especially B vitamins B vitamins are good for lucid dreaming and dream recall so yes that's it for today's episode from me uh, let me know how this goes for you and if you have any questions or if you have any other supplements that you can recommend that you've tried um, then go feel, uh, feel, feel, feel free to comment in this video or comment on the Team Lucid Dream uh, Facebook page and um, yeah if you have any friends that are interested in um, trying Lucid Dream and they're having a bit of trouble perhaps some supplements can give them a kickstart that they need so just um, yeah just show them this video and they can educate themselves and um, yeah have a good um, have a good dream everyone tonight hopefully it was going to be lucid um, and I'll see you when I see you in usually I assume two weeks time okay guys have a good night or day wherever you are in the world see ya